Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today. Thank you for joining me uh, this July the 4th weekend. And hope you've had a great uh, great week and many of you were able to take a vacation. And so I hope you're rested up and ready to go. And we'll see you in God's house tomorrow morning. In the meantime, if you will, like, share, comment on the post, and then join me in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 16, where Paul is going to go back uh, to one of <clears throat> his uh, favorite uh, analogies for uh, the body of Christ, the church, and, and that is the body. Uh, he uh, routinely uh, uses uh, that uh, illustration that we are a body and stresses uh, that all the individual parts of the body are important uh, regardless of how uh, prominent they may be, that, uh, that every part of the body is important and how vital it is uh, for all those parts to work together uh, in, uh, in the Lord. And uh, here he says, from whom the whole body. The, the head is Christ, and from whom then the whole body, joined and held together by every joint with which it is equipped, when each body part, when each part is working properly, makes the body grow so that it builds itself up in love. And uh, again, just one of Paul's favorite uh, comparisons where he is describing how he uh, uses the idea of the body and how each part is independent, uh, that I, I can move the, the fingers on my right hand uh, without uh, bothering my knee. Uh, but uh, all the parts um, come together uh, for the same Purpose and they all are part of uh, our development and our growth. And we grow um, just as my uh, hand grows, uh, my whole body grows. And what he's saying to us is that it's important uh, to the growth of the body of Christ that each individual also grows in their faith, that, uh, that we're, again, the, the old saying that we've heard uh, that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. And so he's reminding us here again of how every part of the body of Christ is important, has different functions, uh, but each part must grow, each part um, must mature because we are joined together uh, and that we are uh, each responsible uh, for our spiritual growth so that the body of Christ as a whole uh, grows strong together. i uh, leave you with uh, an illustration uh, from uh, one of the commentaries uh, that I read. I didn't know this. You may have, but uh, I find it uh, interesting uh, talking about the, the California uh, redwoods and how they actually uh, grow up. And you've, uh, I, I've never seen them personally. Perhaps you have. I've seen uh, pictures and TV uh, shows with uh, the California redwoods uh, in them, and you you know how they grow to be just huge. I mean, they're, they're massive trees, and they uh, live a, a very long time. Uh, and what makes this possible um, is something going on underground that, uh, again, that I didn't know about, uh, that all the roots um, underground are intertwined. They are connected together. Uh, and so if you do anything to uh, to harm or anything with one of the redwoods, you're affecting uh, the whole grove, the whole group of the redwoods. And so when the, when the winds blow, uh, they are really hanging on to each other uh, in that wind. And, uh, and so they rely on each other to be strong. They rely on each other to grow. And 
that is a perfect picture uh, of what uh, Paul is describing here for the church of Jesus Christ. We depend on each other. Uh, we depend on the strength and the maturity of each other. So each of us uh, need to take uh, that responsibility, take uh, charge of our life to grow uh, in our relationship with Jesus Christ because it makes the whole body of Christ stronger. I'll leave you with a thought uh, that crossed my mind in, in preparing and reading this passage this morning. And that is, if the church as a whole, if the church was only as strong spiritually as I am, then what kind of condition would the church be in? That's something to think about. You have a good day. We'll see you here Monday morning.